the Ducati Monster. It's a 2017 model 1200 S. That thing looks pristine. Ain't nothing on it. As you can see, everything stock coming with the bimbo brakes. One side of the swing arm. This thing is amazing. Gray, that nice. I call it Ducati gray to it. This bike is amazing. Carbon fiber, real carbon fiber front end. Everything is you know, coming from the factory, but still need to just see that on the bike from the factory. Brand new chain, barely broke in. I think I have 2,643 miles, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm about to test ride it. I'm a mechanic. The reason why I want me to test ride it because anything just happened to be wrong with it, anything of that nature, I can say how to fix it. But regardless of something wrong or not, before we put it on the sales floor to sell it, it's going to be right and ready to go right then. Well, maybe not right then. We got to do a PDI pre delivery inspection. But it'll be ready. It'll definitely be ready. Man, check this thing out, man. Nice, I love that dash on it. Yes, Sport mode, I want to change the mode on this thing somehow. I'm just showing you all the buttons work. Why they work. Pass work. A turn signal. On. That's the reason. I just went this way because I just wanted to go this way. To be honest, it's something different. But the dip ain't that bad over here either. That's why I like it. But we're gonna see the thing it do. Hopefully, ain't doing nothing too crazy. You know. But that's what we gotta do here. So far, the bike riding fine, though. I like it. It got there real quick. That was just a quick throttle. I'm not trying to speed or anything. Looking for a powerful naked motorcycle, this is what you need to get right here, hands down. This is what you need to get. Or the MP10. Or both. But this right here is something different. This is Ducati 1200 or something too. But it feels good. I can ride and cruise all day long with this bike. No problem. They got all that torque, but yeah, I can still cruise on. I like that a lot. I'm very comfortable. It's like I'm on a, a Booster or a 14, like something that's made before touring or something. It's real
the track I want to see. Like, real, it's taking on real slow, nothing too crazy. It feels amazing. I love this comfortable. I already look. I already look. Great bike. And it's not just about the power or the speed of the bike. It just feels comfortable. The response is like, you need to go ahead and get in front of traffic. It'll definitely do that for you. If you want to stand up on your eye, it'll definitely do that as well. It just, it just, man, it's a smooth bike. But I'm not gonna try to keep talking. You can just look at the way I'm riding, it, listen to it. You can, you can know. Or come test ride that flip my sight. Go see for yourself. Maybe you think I'm making it up. But it just feel good. I'm just playing with it right now. Can't nothing behind me. I can afford to go slow and break it down. That's way back there. But it just feel good. It feel real good. It feels good. I mean, real good. Shifter, but it got I call it a Ducati uh, quick shifter. What I mean by that is when I was doing it in style, I was just trying to sh uh, shift it using the clutch. But what I know is it'll cut the power. So when I tried to quick shift it without using the clutch, it did right. So that one thing I didn't know I had, but I do got is that quick shifter, and it feel good. Now I wish I can show you now, but I can't. Like you see, how, you see how I just cut power. It just cut power right there when you try to accelerate. It just one of them things just cut power. It's not strange. It's just, I don't know, it's just one of the Ducati things. Something you gotta get used to. That's all that is. 
definitely. But another felt good. Or to give you a, to give you an example of what I mean. Now this time I'm not gonna use the clutch and watch like kind of how it would do. It won't cut power like it just did a while ago. It's just one. Like I said, ain't too much traffic. It was, but ain't too crazy. I had time to slow down and stuff. But then watch. You see what I'm saying? This time it doesn't cut power like it doesn't cut, it doesn't bog down. And that's a neat feature to have. It makes the shifting faster. And it's not just for racing, it just makes it easier for if you're cruising, you don't want to hold the clip, you can just beat the thing, let go of the gas, cook the thing up, and she go right and get it real smooth, no problem. That's one neat feature I love about this bike. It's just like, it's just a nice, comfortable bike. The ride smooth, very convenient for the rider. You don't see that nowadays, but this bike is very convenient for the rider. I mean, just very convenient. Like, I really love it, I love it. She did it again. But quick shit, it doesn't, hey. That quick shit is amazing. It's gonna take me some getting used to, cause I'm used to using the clutch. That's just me. And you can, Lord, you can use it as long as you're not trying to accelerate. If you're trying to aggressively accelerate, it's gonna cut power on you if you use the clutch. If you're not trying to aggressively accelerate, it's not gonna cut power on you. Which is a neat feature. Like right now, for example, I need to get in front of the car. For a feature like that, no clutch needed. Once I let go of the clutch for taking off, it was good to go. For a situation like that, situation you just saw there, where I need to get in front of the car in a fashionably manner, it makes it a lot easier for that. And like right now, for them, as you see, I'm not trying to super accelerate real bad, but watch. You see right now, it doesn't cut power on me. It just needs, it just needs. So when I'm just riding all different type of ways and so within this riding video I have I roll my way different ways slow more on the speedy side but not super speedy just different ways for whoever may get the bike whatever they may do with it that's all get the best of all the worlds around but it's a nice comfortable bike and like I said it's convenient for the rider that's the main thing here this bike is convenient for the rider I'll give it a 10 out of 10 it felt good power was there it was a great bike Man, I love it. I have nothing bad to say about this bike whatsoever. And I mean whatsoever. Like when I say, oh no, it's a good bike. Felt good. Was good. I give it a 10 out of 10. Idle's fine. Everything is spent practically new, as you see. Yeah, and yeah, it was in square mode. But good riding bike. You want it? Kind of flip my side to get it. Ducati Monster 1200S. 2017 model. Good bike.